Let's get a contract team over here on Friday so Elliot Sloan can do this 50 50. What is going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Ninja Review. A lot of you guys asked me to review Elliot Sloan's monster part on the Thrasher Magazine YouTube channel. A link to this video will be in the description below. Before we start, I'm really not the guy that should be reviewing this. This is not the type of skating that I've ever participated in. I'm not gonna know the names of any of these tricks I barely have any friends with like $90,000 cars, so watching a guy skate a two or three million dollar ramp is a type of skating that I've never really been exposed to. It's fun to watch, but for me, this is kind of like watching a circus or something like that. I can't really relate. I can always respect how huge these guys are flying, especially after seeing like Jake Brown explode on the Mega Ramp in X Games. But uh, I guess right here, giant heel flip grab across the gap. But as far as like a rainbow rail like this, I don't even know how someone gains access to this sort of walled off section of skateboarding. You have to either be rich or know somebody, I guess. I wouldn't even know where to begin. That was really cool. What is it? Kickflip Melon Alley Oop. But it looks like, it looks like the flick, there's not even a flick happening. The flick skips the skateboard. Look, watch the toe. There's the flick right there. And then catches it behind him blindside. I can respect the style of skating, but if I was to do a kickflip melon, which would be impossible. If I was to do a kickflip grab, I would have to actually use my toe to flip the board. So even the basic fundamentals of how to flip the board changes in this style of skating so what do you guys even want to hear from me just i don't know some type of what do we call that fakie ollie into like switch varial heel probably not the right name of the trick i uh i think i'm capable and credible to review skaters better than me because i can i can understand like what tricks are hard but with this i don't know if that's is that a hard 5-0 is that an easy 5-0 is it harder or easier on that style of ramp what can go wrong? You're covered head to toe in pads. So uh, I'm kind of just doing this to humor the viewers. I don't know, one foot fakie, really cool. I did switch front heel and varial flip into the landing of the mega ramp. It was kind of intimidating, I guess. You're going kind of fast at the bottom, so I couldn't imagine actually dropping into the real thing. I probably wouldn't be able to handle it, but also you need a special skateboard and special trucks to even participate in this. I can't go to pharmacy and even buy these trucks to even be able to, to do this skating. So it's it's so far out of the realm of anything I could do. Varial heel flip translates, very cool. Jumps on the rainbow rail. Is that a shout out to, uh, we saw someone else do this, right? The one foot backsmith. Front foot impossible. Wait, wait a minute. Front foot impossible. Wait a minute. Is this allowed invert? Uh, why draw a yellow line on the ramp if all it's going to do is prove even worse every time you case the landing? Okay. But you can't do it. Yeah, I can't do it. I'm not allowed to go skate this $40 million skate ramp, dude. Of course I can't do it. I'm not allowed. There's barbed wire probably protecting this thing. <laughs> All right, going down. My video froze for a second. What do we think? Varial flip, grab, 540. Like, I, I, there's no way I'm going to get these trick names right. It's a shot in the dark, dude. Jumps up here. Big air. Goes for the rail. Bails on the rail. And it kind of seems like in this situation, you bail on this rail. There's no, look, listen. You bail on this rail, there's never going to be any danger. You go too slow, you land on your knee pads, you go too fast, you land on the bank. You never even are capable of sacking the rail. But uh, I did see the end of this the other day. This is the banger. He built a ramp to the exact specifications to where the length and speed are all going to coincide perfectly. Somebody was doing math underneath the ramp saying, well, let's build it like this and build it like this. Let's get a contract team over here on Friday so Elliot Sloan can do this 50-50. And sure, it's impressive. 
I guess. I don't know. Is it impressive? I don't know. Like, I don't know. I'm not the type of person that should even be commentating tricks like this at all. I guess. You guys tell me. You guys let me know. Am I oversimplifying the tricks like this? Can you guys at least understand the difference between, like, I respect it cool it'd be like if there was a bmx competition and there's these guys doing dirt jumps and then there's the vert section and then the park and then there's a section where all the bikes have giant front wheels and the back wheel is like a tiny little scooter wheel and it's like who can do tricks on this and you'd go oh like that's really interesting but i don't even know where to get one of those weird bikes from the 1800s and i don't know if this is impressive and it's again kind of like a rich man sport so you guys definitely sent this video to the wrong person to review it. If I wanted someone to review this video, I would want it to be Danny Way or Bob Bernquist or maybe Jake Brown so he could tell us, yeah, if I would have tried that, I would have died. <laughs> Anyways, dudes, I don't know what you guys expected out of this video. A link to this video will be in the description below. Like, look, it gets a thumbs up, right? I respect it. I just, <laughs> I don't know what you guys want. I don't know. We upload five, six, sometimes seven videos every single week here on Ninja Lifestyle. Make sure to subscribe. We got this, we got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. It's gonna be a great week for skateboarding, one video every single day. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Kuna Matata. In the arms.